Hi, I'm Mike Hall with UGTastic. I'm standing here with Angelique Martin from 8th Light. She is, um, historically you've worked with the XP Universe and the, uh, well, the XP Agile Universe when it was rebranded mm -hmm. because Agile was the thing. Mm -hmm. um, but now you're working with SCNA, uh, Software Craftsmanship North America. It's a conference that's been, what, this is our fourth year? Yes, okay. it is our fourth year. Can you tell me a little bit about... SCNA? SCNA. So SCNA stands for Software Craftsmanship North America. It's organized uh, right here in Chicago. Mm -hmm. uh, it will be held November 9th and 10th okay. at the Aeon Center. Uh, it's a two-day uh, conference. We'll have about 14 speakers, including Robert Martin, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Corey Foyle, uh, and many other names that yeah, I no, can't it, think of right now. No, remember the roster right now. Yes, Gary <laughs> Bernard. Okay. Uh, yeah. There's two Sarah, Sarah Ellen and Sarah Gray. Mm -hmm. uh, Leon Gersing. Um, I won't be able to remember the 14. <laughs> Brian Merrick uh, that I can quote. Um, and I can't think of the other one, but well, that's it's all on the that's website. That's okay. I, you know, people can go to the site and, and, right. and see, all the, all, see all of that information. But can you tell me a little bit about what is SCNA? So SCNA is a conference that aims at gathering people that care about their craft. Uh, they care about improving themselves, they care about contributing to the community and uh, meeting with uh, their peers mm -hmm. and uh, hopefully uh, exchanging and teaching each other. Okay, and uh, it, this is what, the four, you said the fourth year or so? Fourth year, correct. And traditionally this was something that you shared responsibility, Eighth Light shared responsibilities with uh, Optiva for you were kind of handing it off back and forth, but right. now that yes. Now this year, fortunately this year that Optiva was acquired was an eighth light year, so we're, well, we're good this year, but... Correct. Well, Groupon, um, Groupon Engineering mm -hmm. was uh, still very involved in oh, the good. planning of uh, eighth light this year. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, they uh, helped considerably to secure the program. Mm -hmm. uh, so they, they're, they're still a main sponsor and they're still very involved. Okay, that's good. Uh, the, the year before, when Eighth Light was in charge of it. You did this kind of, um, you went, you know, one of the things I liked was you went beyond just the day to day. Like most conferences seem to be, okay, we have the conference, we have the sessions, we're going to maybe have an after party, but it's usually local, you know, or right inside of the facility where you organized uh, like a field trip. Correct. Uh, did you get any feedback from that from people? Uh, well, I got some really positive feedback. The idea behind this was um, to take, you know, to have a, instead of a banquet mm -hmm. where you would get a DJ and gigs really stand up and dance, yeah. so we were going to take people out into buses mm -hmm. so that they could network, have a chance to discuss the topics that the speakers had mm -hmm. brushed on that day, for instance. And we um, celebrated different areas of Chicago. Yeah, that, well, that was one of the things. Is uh, from people that had spoken with me from out of town, they were kind of saying that it was it was they were excited. There was a chance to go and see things that they might not have known see, to go see. Because right. I remember that this past year's SCNA, some of the people were kind of from out of town and they were kind of floundering. And that's mm -hmm. that's one of the hard things for introverts. Sometimes right. we will just go back to our hotel room and hack exactly. or stay local or yes. not explore. Correct. So You'll see the hotel room and the conference hotel. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, so, I mean, uh, the other thing was, is, you know, you, you're, you were in the city one year and then you're out near the airport. Was there any uh, logistical things that made it more difficult being in the city or, or, or being outside of the city? That I think that's and primarily from the fact that one year, um, you know, we used to alternate. Optiva mm -hmm. would organize and then the next year would be a flight. And at the time, a flight was uh, mostly located in mm -hmm. the suburbs. Um, so we had decided, and you know, for cost reasons as right. well, uh, to take the conference uh, outside of the city. It, it was the very first year that it was going to be a two-day conference. Mm -hmm. So to minimize the risk, uh, we decided to take it out of the city and we did it by the airport with a connection to the city within the parking garage right. of the hotel. Yeah, so, so it was easy to, to get organize. out there. Correct. Okay, but it, but cost was one of the big things you were saying. Yeah. It's yeah, it, it. You put events together. You know that 
You don't do this for the money. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, but there's still a lot of money that changes hands, but mostly it's outgoing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, right. Okay, um, well, thank you very much for taking the time to speak with me and looking forward to SCNA. Okay, thank you.